Good afternoon. Welcome to Raw Online. Today's class is about trapezius muscle and structures under cover of it. So the competencies related to this topic are AN 10.8. In this, it describes, identify and demonstrate the position, attachment, nerve supply and actions of trapezius muscle and latissimus dorsi. And also at the end of the session, the student should be able to know the structures under cover of trapezius muscle. AN 10.9 describe the arterial anastomosis around the scapula and mention the boundaries of triangle of auscultation. AN 10.11 describe and demonstrate the attachment of serratus anterior muscle with its action. Trapezius muscle. The name trapezius is derived from its shape of the muscle. It is a flat superficial muscle. The muscles of two sides together resembles the shape of trapezium. So the trapezium is a Greek word which means it is a four-sided irregular figure. This muscle extend from the spinous process that is from the vertebral column axial skeleton to the scapula which is an appendicular skeleton. So this muscle comes under axio appendicular group of muscle. Extend, this muscle extends over the back of the neck as well as occupies the upper part of the thorax. It assists in suspending the upper limb from the thorax. Coming to origin of the trapezius muscle. The trapezius muscle takes origin from medial one-third of the superior nuchal line, external occipital protuberance, ligamentum nuchae, the spinous process of the T7 to T12 vertebra as well as the intervining spinous, supraspinous ligament. So here you can see this represents the origin of the superior nuchal line and here the red line represents the attachment in the ligamentum nuchae in the neck. And beyond this is the origin of the muscle from the spinous process of the C7 to T12 vertebra. Coming to insertion of the muscle, the muscle is a broad wide muscle. So it is not inserted to a single point. So it has a wider insertion which is shown in this diagram in a blue color line. So this upper fibers, the upper fibers, they descend downwards and get inserted to the posterior border of the lateral one-third of the clavicle. Whereas, the orientation of the middle fibers is horizontal. See here, these, these are middle fibers. These middle fibers, they go and insert to the medial margin of the acromion process. So, these fibers direction is horizontal and get inserted to the acromion process whereas the lower fibers they ascend. So these are the lower fibers. These fibers they ascend and get inserted to the upper border of the crust of the spine of scapula and the tubercle over it. So this is the insertion of trapezius muscle. So upper fibers descend down the middle fibers they have a horizontal or transverse orientation whereas the lower fibers they ascend up. Coming to nerve supply, the trapezius muscle is supplied by spinal part of accessory nerve. So this accessory nerve is the 11th cranial nerve. So the 11th cranial nerve is divided into two. One is the cranial part and another one is the spinal part. So the spinal part of the accessory nerve, it arises from C1 to C5 spinal segment. They unite together and forms the spinal accessory nerve. So this spinal accessory nerve is a mo gives motor innovation to the trapezius muscle. Here in this diagram, you can see a yellow line and a faint red line. So this muscle, this nerve, this nerve is the spinal accessory nerve. So we have retracted the trapezius muscle and this is the spinal accessory nerve. 
this spinal accessory nerve joins with the branches of C3 and C4 nerve which are derived from these C3 and C4 is derived from cervical plexus. Okay. So, these nerve join together form a plexus underneath the trapezius muscle and supply the trapezius muscle it innervate the muscle from its under surface. So, coming to action of trapezius muscle the upper fibers it has it is since it is a broad muscle the each uh, quadrant that is the upper fibers the middle fibers and the lower fibers they act separately. The upper fibers along with the levator scapulae muscle it elevates the scapula. So, in this first diagram you can see the elevation of the scapula as in shrugging of shoulders whereas the middle fibers the middle fibers they react along with rhomboidus muscle and it retracts the scapula see in the third diagram you can see the retraction of the scapula where the midline becomes deeper it has a deep groove. So, the scapula will retract whereas the lower fibers it depress the medial part of the spine of the scapula. So, in the second diagram you can see the depression arrow mark. So, the lower fibers causes depression of the scapula as such the upper fibers causes elevation of the scapula the middle fibers causes retraction of the scapula by acting together on both sides whereas the lower fibers causes depression of the scapula. Acting with serratus anterior another muscle in the chest wall it rotates the scapula forwards so that the arm can be abducted beyond 90 degree. So, when the arm abducted beyond 90 degree these two muscles facilitate its action. So, coming to testing of the trapezius muscle the trapezius muscle is tested by keeping your arm over the either side of the neck and ask the patient to shrug the shoulders above if there is no problem then the trapezius muscle action is good.